Hi everyone, this is Terry. This is a continuation of our lesson with shapes. Today we're going to cover the shapes, rectangle, circle, arc, menu. So we'll talk about these tools. If you look at my screen, you'll see that I created this name tag using shapes. So let me tell you how I created it. The first thing I did was to draw a rectangle, which I'll show you in a moment. The second thing I did was to select the shape of a flower, and I believe I selected this little flower here, or it could have been this one. And then I just typed my name. But one of the things that you'll notice is that there's a hole in this flower because I didn't want it to sew over the name tag. Let me show you how I did that. So let me clear my screen. And we'll go to Shapes. We'll select the rectangle. And you notice the rectangle tool is attached. I have my thread colors here. And I have the zigzag stitch and the fill stitch. So all I'll do is just draw a rectangle on the screen. The next thing I want to do is to select another shape. Now you can go to the home menu or you, if you've added a shape to your ribbon bar, you can select it here. You can also just click off of the rectangle and I'll do that. And you can go into shapes. It'll open up the menu. Now let's select a flower and now we'll just draw that flower on this rectangle. I'm not really worried about how this looks right now because I wanted to show you how to do it. It's the same color as the background so I'll change it and I'll make the center of this flower this gold color. Okay, now that I've done that, what I want to do is to also select the background so I'll go ahead, and while I have this flower selected, I will press the control key and select the background color. Now you notice a dotted line that's going around all the objects, and I want to make sure that they're selected, so I'll choose the select arrow. Once I do that, I want to go to modify overlap and set hole sewing. So if you look at under your sewing order, you can see that this rectangle has a hole that is cut in it. And that hole is represented by this flower and the outline of zigzag stitch. If you want to make any changes to this, for instance, if you wanted to make your zigzag stitch wider, you could do that by selecting the zigzag go to Sewing Attributes, and you can increase the zigzag stitch. And this is what your little name tag would look like. Okay, now that I've shown you how to create something just using shapes and showed you how to use whole sewing, let me tell you a little bit about whole sewing. You need to select the top object first and then the bottom object second. If you don't do that, you're, you will not be able to set the whole sewing. I'll have a separate video covering that topic, but let's just continue on with shapes. For that, let me open a new file. Okay, there are two shapes on the screen the rectangle and the circle. And the thing that is different about these is that I use the shift key with those shapes on the bottom to create a perfect square and a perfect rectangle. Let me show you how to do that by clearing my screen. So I'll select shapes, I'll ch select the rectangle, and now that the tool is attached, I just draw it on the screen. To create this, this shape in a perfect square, let me click off. I'll select shape, the rectangle, 
And this time I'll hold down my shift key. Okay, let's go and look at the circle. We'll clear the screen. And we'll go to shapes and we'll choose the circle. While the circle is attached, I'll just draw the circle. And by the way, if I want to change anything about this, including the, the outline stitch, which let's go ahead and change this to a motif stitch. And we'll change the inside to a programmable fill stitch. And we'll go into our sewing attributes and change the programmable fill stitch to a different fill. And let's just choose this pattern and see what it looks like. Okay, so now we have a circle with circles inside. That's kind of cute. Okay, we'll go ahead and click off. And we'll choose shapes again and the circle. And I'll hold down my shift key. And now I have a perfect circle. So that's how to create circles. And I called... Uh, this an egg or an ellipsis. So just remember with shapes, if you want to create a symmetrical pattern to hold down the shift key. Okay, we'll click off of that. We'll open up another file. And let's see, I think this is the one we want. The next shapes we'll talk about are the arc in the string and the round rectangle. If you use the shift key, just like with the circle and the rectangle, so this should be something that you will understand and know to use the shift key. If you want it to be perfectly symmetrical, you use the shift key. So we'll go and clear the screen and to do that I can just select everything and press delete. Okay I'll choose shapes and we'll first look at the arc and string. Now when you draw this you'll have a string that's attached and depending on where you click on the string and I'll do it up high you start drawing your arc. And it's remember the attributes of the last pattern. We'll just go ahead and make this a triple stitch on the outside. And we'll change it back to a regular fill stitch. Okay, the next one we'll look at is the same shape, but we'll choose to hold down the shift key. So we'll choose the arc. We'll hold down the shift key and you see we have a perfectly symmetrical shape and now we'll let go, click and click again and that completes this pattern. Alright, let's look at the next shape. So let me clear my screen. And we'll go to shapes and we'll look at the round rectangle. When you choose the round rectangle, and let's go back to shapes and click off and look at the other rectangle. One of the things that you notice with both of these is you can set a radius, an edge radius. But we'll look at the round rectangle and this will show you how to use that same radius on the regular rectangle. So with the round rectangle we'll leave it at 10 and we'll change this back to a zigzag stitch. Let's change color. And all we have to do is just draw the rectangle on the screen. 
So you can see the round radius of this. And um, this would be something that would be nice, uh, again, for a name tag or a patch, for instance, on a uniform. Let's go ahead and draw it again, holding the Shift key. So we'll click off, select Shape, select that rectangle again, and I'll hold the Shift key. Now let me show you some samples where we have this radius and you can see what it does whenever you select the round radius. So let's go to the file. And here you can see the different edge radius. So just by selecting a different radius you get a different shape. All right, let's look at the next in our series of shapes. And we'll choose the arc and the fan. I have a file that I've already created, so let's look at it. And you'll see the arc with the shift key and the fan. And I call this one the Pac-Man shape. Let's go and create those by clearing the screen. We'll choose shapes. And you just draw your object. And then you have the string attached. This works just like the arc. And now you can see that shape. If you Click off and click shapes again and select it and hold the shift key. You have that perfect symmetrical circle. And because these are outlines, you do not have a region fill. Okay, let's look at the next one by clearing the screen. I guess you know how to do this now. And let's choose fan. And again, we'll draw the object. You see the string attached, so everything looks the same. Click. And this way you can get a slice of, of your pie shape. And if you want it to be perfectly symmetrical, you guessed it, you hold down the shift key whenever you select that shape. So this time we'll click down low, and now we have a wedge of pie. So this covers how to use shapes by selecting the menu and using the tools in row 2. Stay tuned for the next video. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you like it, please check like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.